Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night, and welcome to another episode from me, Avamance, on Avatopia. You can tell it's Avatopia because there's a map of Avatopia just on the side of me. Today's going to be ever so slightly different. Normally on the Avatopia uh, videos, I'll be doing a little bit of work on my own little area and doing a quick flyby tour on three or four people's bases. Today, I'm not doing any work on my area. I am just going to do flybys. In fact, it's not even going to be a flyby. It's going to be more like a walk around tour and a proper proper snoop. But before I do that, I am going to go and have a quick scooby in the um, mailbox just to see if I've got any lovely gifts. Because I do love a lovely gift, does me. Right, it's come along to my mailbox. There it is. Abermans, open a mailbox. Slime balls, brilliant. Mystic Sands, maybe check that out and what? I'm sorry, I, just, I, f <clears throat> I feel a little. Oh, I f just came across it all. Feel very funny there. That's. Mm, I, so, sorry, it's passing. It's passing as I travel away from my mailbox. Right, well, we won't talk about that. It's probably best we don't, actually. I'm going to go through the nether. And I don't know if you lot have seen the nether hub. If you don't play on Avatopia, then you may not have seen the nether hub. And what this nether hub allows us to do is to move from very, very far away places to other very, very far away places, frankly. And it is absolutely superb. It is a big temple of Ra off of the Stargate, hence a Stargate. And it, it's just a superb piece of engineering, is this. So if we come down... We, we actually access the hub by coming onto this pressure plate here. So I shall do this for you now. And you can see we have rematerialized down here. That's the south tunnel. I'm not going to go on there. That is the west tunnel. That is north. And this is the east. And we can go in any of these directions some distance. And as a result of going that some distance, let me just go and grab a boat. We're going to go down, which tunnel am I on? We're going to go down the east tunnel and we're going to see what's there. So this should be a laugh because I'm rubbish at this. But fortunately, we put, we say we, there is glass all the way down the side. So I don't wobble off left, right and centre. And it means that I don't look like a complete fool. The big old go into the east train station portal, which is what we're going to do now. There's one of these at every end. But what we must do is put our boat back so as we don't leave no, a big hole in the boats. So I'm going to go through this portal. We're going to have a look, see what's through this way. And out we come. And you can see this is the East train station. It's very much in the style of the spawn area with this prismarine and endstone type of uh, shenanigans going on. And what we can do now is we can go and have a quick look around and find out if there's anything worth watching. I can see smoke rising from the horizon over there. So I think I might go and investigate that first. So what we have is Robozog's place, but he specifically said for no visitors to go inside. So absolutely, we will obviously honor that. But what we've got up here is the area that he is starting to cultivate around with plenty of bamboo, some wood, and a multitude of colored sheep. Very interesting. So I'm coming along and I've spied these big old bridgy, gatey, towery things. So I'm going to come and basically snoop around because I can. It's my server. I'll go where I want. And we've got fizzing bobs and it's under construction. But there's nothing telling me that I can't come in. So I'm going in. First off, we're going to climb up and see what we find in here. Oh, hang on. I fell down. Let's climb up and see what we find in here. And what we've got is a really cool view, actually. It continues up to the top of that thing, but we don't need to go to the top, but we can come up to the middle of the two towers and we can jump ourselves off there. So I'm going to have a quick wander around, just see what else we can find, because we've got a really grand looking building here that... It's got some interesting door. Oh, aha. So this looks like a serious sorting system. A really serious sorting system with a light indication system at the top by the look of it too, which is fab. Oh, and I can hear the telltale clicking of a sorting system that is empty in itself, which is always good. So if I come out the side here, we've got 
A very familiar looking iron farm will perhaps excuse the blocks from which it has been made, but we've got our little mate going around there. He's uh, holding a block of dirt so he won't despawn, which is brilliant. And that will be generating golems, which is fantastic. And then we've got some more buildings here. Now, I know we've already done a flyby um, of Fizzing Bob, but what we've not done, it's a work in progress, what we've not done is a look around inside. So we've got a, a nice grand table there and an understair area. I've come out the side. That's a nice outside area. I like that very much. So it's the water powered sawmill. Now you can notice under there, we've got a stone cutter being used as a log saw, which is the perfect use of one of those with the water mill being uh, driven there by water from up the top. That's a very nice little touch there. I do like that very, very much. We've got what's obviously a mob farm up on the top there. And this looks like where he's been living at least for the time being. Yeah, we've got, it looks like it goes down to a mine. Very nicely decorated there, Bob. Coming up, let's come up to the very top and stand on his roof. Oh, what's that over there? Let's have a look at this too. So we've got a cow and a pig farm that uses a entity cramming, I imagine. We've got a wool farm, looking fantastic. And some crops. And up here, we've got, hang on, let's see if I can, it's a kind of another elevated area. Very nice. Coming down into this area here. So we've got an awful lot of work that has gone on. And it's been, clearly we've got a village here that was converted, or partially converted right on the edge of Bob's area. The Avatopia SMP is completely free to play for all of my patrons. If you'd like to get involved, go to avamance.com where you can find the details about becoming a patron and what all the benefits are. I have come to Flash Rabbit's place now and we are starting in his trading hall. And he's, what I really like about this is it's very easy to, to miss out, but we've got labels on all of the trades. And it helps me very much there because if you've got a label on the trades it means you can actually remember what it is you're trading so we've got thorns and looting through on that one which is exactly what the label says silk touch and mending from the same dude oh my goodness he's a god flash rabbit this villager is a god mending and silk touch that's insane mate nice catch I'm not surprised you put a load of stars on him. And we're outside. That's the door that leads to it there. And I know that Flash Rabbit's been doing some serious building because we did a flyby of Flash Rabbit a little while ago. And it looks like we've increased what we've done by some token we've got. Because we're in kind of a swampy biome here, you can see the water is green. But that's all right because it makes, a, makes for a nice little touch there. He's got his um, nether portal there ready for use. Plenty of cats around as well. And we've got what looks like a massive build about to, to crack on over here. Very Athenian. Yeah, this very, very much looks like it is going to be a temple to the gods. How much quartz are we going to be consuming on this fella? Oh my goodness, that is some serious quartzage. I recognise that turtle farm. And we've got even more trading here. It looks like Flash Rabbit's going in for the trading side of the game. Uh, makes a lot of sense, I guess, with the village being literally just around the corner. Now, I am going to be using the nether tunnel created by Rigantova. And this is a piece of work. I'm just going to come out into the nether just to have a look. This tunnel goes all the way to the north, I believe, the north station. Um which is sort of that way, you can see. That tunnel just continues off that way. So let's just follow this tunnel along because this is a superb piece of work by Rivent over here. It is massively, massively time consuming. Use of nether warp block, redstone block, um, magma, it's it's all there in it. And it is a long tunnel, this one. So we've come along this way, 
You've got to come down. And then continue around the corner and keep going. And at the end, we come into this massive hall where all of the northern people, i.e. the people that live in the north, obviously it's one big community, but there's north, south, east and west. So these are the northern people. So we've got Mike WM, we've got Jeff Marrow, we've got AMWY, Ordman, Nariu. I mean, loads and loads of people here that uh, have decided to set up their shop in this area. That is the map. It looks like it's getting close to being completed. We've got a number of uh, people's bases and banners put on there as well, which looks awesome. Well, we've got some lava going on there. Some nice bannerage there as well, isn't it? That's Fubica. Right, so, but there is one place that I wanted to go to. There's Gobs, which was down towards this direction. We are going to Winterfell. Now, Winterfell is not a northern thing. Winterfell is a, a server-wide thing, and it is a basically a one-chunk community. Everybody is built, or lots of people are starting to build, one-chunk houses. You're not allowed to build a bigger-than-one-chunk house. Because if you build a bigger-than-one-chunk house, then it's not a one-chunk house area, is it? And this is where we're going through this portal. And it brings us out to Winterfell. You can see Banner and Rose Contest, new storage bar, message board for community, welcome to Winterfell, no building within two, two chunks of another building, it's all very, very good. Have we got any notices up here? Community Projects Communications Board, have we got any, is there a, a bin full of signs? No, no bin full of signs? I might have to put a, just a sign up here saying Avo was here or something like that. Just like that, a little sign, Avo was here, half past five in the afternoon on the 13th of October, which is, if anybody's interested, now for me. And I'm just gonna have a quick scoots around this because this is something I've been looking forward to coming to see. I've been putting it off and putting it off and putting it off. And I didn't want to put it off any longer. I just want to have a look. If anybody's builds are not yet finished, it's your own fault. You should have finished it. So there's a storage barn. So if people need stuff, you can get stuff, scaffolding, glass blocks, torches. Look, and there's loads of stuff for people. This is a proper community job. Lanterns, magma blocks, it's all very, very community. Dirt and grass. I like this very much. This is all about everybody building together and making what they can build without having to worry about not being able to get enough resource. Everybody's helping each other out, which is great. So what we have here, Roman warrior's place. And look, it, it is exactly one chunk you can see. He's used the terrain really beautifully. He's got the height, he's got the width, and uh, he's decided he's gone for a chimney stack right in the middle of that roof, and that works absolutely brilliantly. Very impressed by that. So coming across here, we've got a floating island, and I think, I think this is Raven. I believe I've seen posts in the chat that this is uh, Raven's place. So. Yeah, yeah, Raven's place there. So let's come up. I love the fact that it's made it parkour. Should we do try and do this? I'm in creative, I know, but I'm going to see if I can actually do this to show that I've got mad parkour skills. See, I can do stuff like that. I don't know what you're talking about. And inside we come. So you're you having a laugh now. You're trying to make me go further. For goodness sake. Now I've got, I'm parkour in a way that like, I could do any parkour now. Easy. Absolute doddle. Oh my God, it's good. Very, very purple. I love that. That's brilliant. Right, so that's Raven stuck. Raven's done a cracking job there. Floating Island. All the best people do floating islands, I heard. Who's next? Right, so let's come across this. Wow, this is a piece of work. This Is that, is that really one chunk? Oh my goodness. One, two, three, four, five, six. It really is. It's one chunk. That's an amazing chunk, that is. I like that very much. What a cracking piece of work. Who did that? Have we got a sign to say who did that? Tylee37. Tylee, that's brilliant. Really nice. I like, love, in fact, what you have done here. Right, so we've got a big old central area that is full of redstone blocks and obsidian and a polar bear. 
obviously you need a polar bear with every redstone block. What else have we got here? We've got a really nice tower. That's a beautifully symmetrical tower as well. I'm very in favour of symmetry. You know that about me. I like that a lot. So coming down, there is an A. Every Everybody that puts A's in gets a bonus point. And hearts. A's and heart. Right, whoever this is, this, this person's going to get a little, just a little prize, I think. Who is it? Is he going to say who it is? Shadow Mermaid. Shadow Mermaid, that's brilliant. I'm very, very impressed. I love that very, very much. Right, so Shadow Mermaid, because you've done that, I'm going to give you a little present. I'm going to go into your chest and I'm going to put three diamond blocks very carefully into your chest as just your present for your little heart. I love that. Thank you very much. That's really, really sweet. So what else have we got over here? We've got, oh, I'm loving the flag. The flag's looking great. Fantastic piece of work there. So if I come down, do we have a clue as to whose this is? Stormy Springs, right, Stormy, let's have a look. So you've created this. Looks like there was a bit of a lava lake going on there, which I don't know, did that frustrate you when you found it? Or was that a good thing? And if I come up the scaffold, brings you into the actual tower itself, which is lovely like that a lot and doors going out onto another level absolutely brilliant what else do we have i recognize the g of gobspit here i've crashed into them i just crashed into the building whoopsie but let's come around gob's done i can't see through your window there mate right so i'm going to come around this way where's your door or is it is it some kind of rapunzel -esque tower there it is Right, so if we come in this way and go up, Gob does love a tower. And now we're in the inside the green bit of Gob's Bits Tower. I'm going to go back down again now. This is a really interesting looking build. It's got a, a wider top than it has the bottom. Very Tudor style there. Who's this, this one? Right, so this is Knox's place. So if I come up, you come inside to Knox's place. So we've got a number of different rooms there. So he could use this for all, all kinds of utilities on this one. That's brilliant. We've got, is this another community build or is that Danger Wyatt Walker? Amazing. Right, so this is kind of a nice area. It looks like what was a guard outpost or something like that come up to the top there is a bed in there though so does this belong to someone that's a nice build that I like that a lot let's come across this way and right here we've got kind of a little fort type area really interesting shapes with this one as well I like the shapes um, we've kind of incorporated obviously we've got the British flag there which is brilliant we've got a cross shaped window I'm going to enter it as if I'm a human This is Ad's place. Right, so I'm going to investigate. Now, the, the changes of shape around here are, are what I like the most about this particular build. The fact that we've got, within just a 16 by 16 area, we've got kind of the different levels, the different shapes, the way the roofs interact with each other. Another exit out there. That works extremely, extremely well. That is a very clever piece of building. Uh, particularly impressed by that one that's excellent this is going to look good when this is done we can see the scaffold is still up there is some work to be done on this one so spoilers and all that but i am looking anyway i don't know who this one's belongs to Have we got a sign anywhere no signs at the moment but i like what's been done so far i know what you're doing <laughs> moving away so we don't spoil it anymore and uh, I think we, we've got some really cracking things going on here uh, and I like it very much now what I'm going to do is I'm going to be coming back in a couple of weeks and we're going to be seeing what progress has been made in this area within a couple of weeks because I think that we've got some very nice builds what we've got down here let's have a look at this one I mean we have use of uh, polished granite there which in itself uh, deserves frankly well 
absolutely no no way that I'm going anywhere near that building with polished granite on it. That won't work. Now, of course it will. Right, Brit because it's got the British flag, we shall come into the building and perhaps just hold our breath a little bit. How did I know this would be Scouse Mouses with polished granite? How did I know that? We've got a number of ores there. That looks quite effective, actually. I quite like the way you've done that. Coming around, let's come up to the top and come in. Big open space that could be used there for something, which is cracking. And fires in the top, just to give it a little bit more character. And we've got the Winterfell Wolf there in the banner, which is really, really lovely, actually. It's a, a very clever banner, very difficult to make banner, that one. I'm at the top of the tower that we were up just a little while ago, and this is the view of Winterfell as you can see it right now. Now remember, everybody on Avatopia can come and claim a chunk in Winterfell. It's not just the North, it is everybody. And that's really, really important. I love to see people from the South, the East and the West to come and build in here. They're one chunk builds, I'd love to see them. And I'm actually gonna come and do one myself. Not at the moment, I'm gonna let everybody else have a bit of a crack first and I'll come and do one in a little while too because I'm quite excited at the idea of it. I will come back after my holidays. I'm going to be going on a holiday. In fact, as you watch this, I'm already on holiday. When I come back, I'm going to stand in this exact same spot and I'm going to look and see what it looks like in that period of time, which is in about three weeks from now as I record this video. So lots of work can happen in three weeks. I'm really looking forward to seeing what goes on. If you would like to come and get involved with Avatopia, it could not be more simple. It is utterly free for any of my patrons to come and build on this server. And you also get access to the Avatopia Discord too. Amazing community in here, I promise you. All you need to do is go to avamance.com. That is avamance.com. All the details about patronage are there. Please do go and take a look. If you have enjoyed this video, please do remember to slap that like button. It'd be great to know you're enjoying it and I will keep on making them. And also, if you've not done it already, please do hit that subscribe button. It'd be great to see you in my sub club and I look forward to seeing you in another video. You take it easy now. Bye.